Good morning, children. Welcome to Maths class. So, in Maths, we are solving the problems of Block Twenty Two, which is weight and capacity. Yes, and in the first topic, we have learned what are the different units of the weight and how we need to convert into convert the weights, isn't it, children? If it is given in grams, how to convert into centigrams, milligrams? Yes, all these we have learned, isn't it? So, and also we have learned how to. represent that weight in the decimals isn't it children by dividing by 10 100 or 1000 how we need to do we have done it isn't it children so in the second topic we are going to add and subtract the weights okay in the decimals represent weight with decimals okay next let's see the sums add so add 253 kg 340 g 92 kg 820 grams okay so children when we were adding we used to add in the column method do you remember children ones tens hundreds thousands ten thousands lakhs like that we used to place the columns isn't it here also we have to place the columns but as kgs and grams okay so under kgs you will write the kgs under grams you will write the grams now if you see the first number it is 253 kgs that means 253 you have to write under kgs 340 grams so 340 you have to write under g grams like this okay so the next one is 92 kgs so you will write 92 kgs and 820 grams in grams okay now we are doing the addition so you will plus place the plus symbol and we have to start from here children always addition starts from your uh, right hand side isn't it so you will start from 0 plus 0 becomes 0 4 plus 2 4 plus 2 becomes 6 isn't it so you will write 6 4 plus 2 6 now 8 plus 3 8 plus 3 becomes 11 isn't it so 11 you can't write 11 there if you write 11 it becomes 1160 grams so this 1000 grams we have we can include in kgs isn't it children so you will write one down and one you will write it above okay now you need to add 1 plus 3 4 4 plus 2 6 6 5 9 14 so same you will carry four down and one you will carry now 1 plus 2 becomes 3 So that means the answer is three hundred and forty-six kgs and one hundred and sixty grams. Okay, children. So in that way, you need to add. Okay, kgs, kgs. You will add grams, grams. You will add. If you have any carry, you can carry to the next number as we do addition. Okay. So now let's do the subtraction. Eight kg seven hundred and fifty grams from thirteen kg three hundred and fifty grams. So here you have to remove eight kg seven hundred and fifty grams from thirteen kg three hundred and fifty grams. Isn't it, children? So first you need to write kg and grams, and the first number you have to write thus thirteen kg. Here he is telling from. You have to remove this from. this so you will write this first that is 13 kg 350 grams okay next 8 kg 750 grams okay don't get confused children in kgs and grams you have ones place tens place hundreds place isn't it ones tens hundreds in grams okay ones tens in kgs okay don't get confused so if you are writing 8 kgs you have to write under 3 why 3 is in ones place in kgs isn't it so 8 you have only one digit which is in ones place you will write it under 3 okay don't get confused in this children for example if they have given instead of 750 grams they have given only 7 75 grams so you will write here 75 and here it will be a zero understood in that way ones tens hundreds are same in that you are making columns for kgs and grams okay now we are doing the subtraction so you will place the minus symbol now you will start from here isn't it 
So 0 minus 0 becomes 0. So you will write 0. 5 minus 5 becomes 0 again. Now can we remove 7 from 3? 3 minus 7? No, right? So what you have to do? You need to borrow, isn't it? So in cages you have 3. Here grams we finished. In cages you have 3. From 3 you need to borrow 2 grams. Okay, 3 becomes 2 and 3 in grams becomes 13. So now you have 13. 13 minus 7 will give us 6, isn't it? So you will write 6. Yes, now we have completed with grams. Now coming to cages. So cages you have 2 minus 8, isn't it? 2 minus 8. So we can't do that. So again you need to borrow. So you have 1 in 10's place in cages. So you will borrow from there. Where 1 becomes 0 and 2 becomes 12. Now 12 minus 8. 12 minus 8 becomes 4, isn't it? So you will write 4. Now you have 0 here. Yes, either you can write 0 here or you can leave it Oh, also okay so finally what you will write 13 kgs mine 13 kgs 350 grams minus 8 kgs 750 grams is equal to 4 kgs 600 grams okay children so in this way you need to do the addition and subtraction you already know how to do with the numbers isn't it now it is with the weight kgs and grams okay so there are few more for addition and subtraction in your daily schedule children Copy down in your class book. Okay. Coming to your homework. Complete the volume book children. Two pages of volume book. In volume book 3. Page number 30. S1. Metric units of weight. And page number 31. S2. Represent weight with decimals. Okay. So in the next class we will learn the next topic children. See you in the next class. Bye.